DeGrom hacks. I love them, you love them, your neighbor's dog loves them. There's so many quality games out there that I wish I could just share that joy with others. <clears throat> I said, I wish I could share that joy with others. All right, screw this. Hey everyone, today I have so generously invited Nathaniel Bandy to check out some multiplayer Mario ROM hacks. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's great to be here. <laughs> Please send help on being held at. So, let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. First game on the list is Mario Keep. What's he keeping? I don't know. Bad jokes, maybe? What we have here is a two-player puzzle game of sorts. You both need to find your way and make it to the end of the room and through a pipe together. If one person dies, then it's game over for the both of you. Which, believe me, will happen a lot due to... Circumstances? Circumstances of being not good. This is a fact. Although, to try and give me an excuse, this game is pretty difficult right out of the gate. Like, the super precise jump that Nathaniel did first try. Like, come on! How is someone like me supposed to just do that? I just end up kicking the shell and screwing him. Ah, not cool! I like the aesthetic, though. The entire game takes place in this underground... well keep, really giving you that feeling of needing to escape this puzzle-ridden dungeon. The game is honestly probably much easier single-player, since you won't have some IDIOT slowing you down. However, our adventure with this game was cut short, because when we died, I respawned still as Big Luigi and essentially softlocked the game, because I couldn't jump through this STUPID tiny area. Epic. I guess let's move on to Super Mario Bros. But not just any Super Mario Bros. TWO-PLAYER Mario Bros. That immediately started us off in the Minus World. Okay, cool, great. Yeah, have you ever wanted to play the original Mario Bros with a friend at the same time? Because I honestly have, that's not a joke or anything. And this game does just that. Kind of. It definitely seems to be a little... What's the word? Cursed? Player 1 starts off the game as Big Mario and with a Fire Flower, while Player 2 is just Little Luigi the entire time. I'm sorry, little one. Not that it even matters, though, because you're both just totally invincible. I got hit by so many enemies, but psh, yeah, right? Like, that's gonna stop me. I'm still here just shooting fireballs like it's nobody's business. Not to mention you can just pass through obstacles. Life has been easier for Ghost Luigi since he died in Dracula's castle. Literally nothing stands in your way. Apart from the game itself. Yeah, since you can't interact with objects, this pipe that would normally lead to the exit is now virtually useless to us. Yeah, okay, cool, thanks. So we reset the game and oh, cool, a new level. Well, that doesn't seem right. So, okay, reset again, and it's another underwater level. This time, however, it's an underwater rendition of World 1-2. I like that, that's neat. I swear, this game is absolutely random every time you start it, which I guess is kinda cool. What isn't cool is once again being softlocked because the game is stupid and doesn't understand its own rules. So, what do we do now? I don't know about you, but uh, I'ma do a Mario 1BLJ. A what? Oh my god. If you want a more cleaned up version of a co-op Mario game, then co-op Super Mario World may be more your speed. The game is... well, I mean, it kind of speaks for itself. Co-op Mario World. There's Mario and Luigi. Hallelujah, it's a miracle. Yeah, nothing too crazy here. It's just the core game of Super Mario World, but now with a friend. And when they die, they respawn in the bubble like in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which, yes, is very cute. The game also isn't super chaotic, since you can't jump on the players' heads or interact with them like you could in New Super Mario Bros. I don't know about that. Handshake Luigi looks kind of chaotic to me. Look at him! Aggressively charging you until you shake his hand. Shake my hand, damn it! <laughs> I don't like this game anymore! Apart from that nightmare, though, the game is great, easy, and a fun time with a friend. And with that, the fun time is over! Because up next, we're gonna check out a ROM hack specifically designed for you to want to punch your best friend in the nose! Super Mario World Co-op Quest 2. What happened to Co-op Quest 1? That... that's a good question. Maybe I should have checked that one out first. But it's too late now! On the surface, this just looks like any old Mario ROM hack. But oh no. Because you see that little red arrow above the enemies? Well, that's because those enemies are being controlled by Player 2! Yup, 
I'm now in full control of the Goombas, Koopas, and mostly every other enemy you could think of. And you can make them do things that Koopas legally should not be able to do. Whoa, hello? That's not right. The objective of this game is to just troll as hard as you can. I mean, the game is already somewhat difficult as is, so screw it. What are a few floating Goombas gonna hurt? Me! It's going to hurt me! God dang it. Honestly, you can make this game almost impossible for the other player. It's fun to control, not so much to go against. The enemy movements become completely unpredictable, but that's totally fine. You need to go into this game with the mindset you may not get super far and will get screwed over time and time again. And that's okay. When it comes to Super Mario Bros. Co-op Quest, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. But damn it, please stop that! It's me, Mario! So, let's try and end this on a less hostile note. Mario 64 Split Screen, an NB classic! Ooh, baby, now you're speaking my language. In this game, you play Mario 64, but now split screen with another player. I don't know, I probably don't need to explain that. Finally, L is real. It's just the core game of Mario 64. So again, if you've wanted to play this game with a friend at the same time, here you go. I know me and my brother would have loved this game when we were kids. It's so fun to split up the objectives and have each person take on a different star. Okay, so I'll collect the red coins and you go fight King Bobbo. Nice, sounds easy. All right, I got them all. You almost done with the boss fight? Yeah, I... I'm, I'm gonna get him. Eventually. Dang it. Hey, uh, is it me or is King bob -omb actually kind of difficult? Mmm, no, nah, I think that might just be you. Mmm, okay, got him finally. Okay, so we really need to make sure we grab these stars at the same time, so the game counts it. One, two, three! three. Here we go! Woo! We couldn't be more in sync, like my favorite boy band. The Backstreet Boys? Backstreet, back, right. Yeah, you can work together like the Backstreet Boys. Or maybe a certain someone is really good at the game, and you can just let that certain someone do all the work while you hang out and, I don't know, eat a cannoli or something. Hey, so, uh, you are gonna join me in this race, right? Yeah, yeah, I just gotta... I just gotta rest my eyes for a second, and then I'll... It's okay, I beat it. Wait, what? I closed my eyes for like two seconds! Sheesh. Anyway, I think that's a good place to end the video. Huge thanks again to Nathaniel Bandy for joining me in this magnificent Mario multiplayer mission. Hey everyone, hope you guys enjoyed this collab video. It was a lot of fun to put together, and uh, if you'd make sure to go check out this uh, Mario Galaxy Ultimate Medley video that I put together a couple months ago, that'd be awesome. And until next time, stay extra crispy and buttery. Wait, that doesn't sound right.